Beardy Bandito Productions. What's going on, YouTube? All right, so I did it. I sold the Scion and I bought a brand new truck. And yes, I'm gonna show that to you today. Okay, so here it is, the 2018 Ram. It is a tradesman, so it does not have all the bells and whistles. I figure in my experience it's smarter to just buy the bells and whistles after you've already financed the truck. So it does have just, it's got auto, passenger, and driver front, but not in the rear. At least it doesn't have hand crank windows. So it's got a pretty basic uh, radio setup. I think it's a Uconnect 3 or whatever the lowest level is. Just basically presets, serious uh, radio and uh, I think USB connection, that's about it. So I might switch that out with the screen or I might just get a GPS, who knows. Right now I got this holding the cell phone as my GPS. Uh, it does have a six speed transmission is that the g56 or whatever that is so these aren't as easy to find as the autos are obviously and i think ram is the only truck to actually make uh manuals anymore and you can barely hear it because uh they don't make diesels loud anymore but oh well uh pretty basic no vanity mirror you know might add on, I probably won't add on on who, don't really care. It does have that on the fly shifting, the four wheel drive, so it doesn't have the uh, manual transfer case. I was actually kind of hoping I could find one with one, but I couldn't. One of the first things I gotta get in this truck is floor mats, because I'm gonna destroy this carpet if I don't get floor mats. This is pretty much as basic as it gets. Actually, it's not quite as basic as it gets, so let's go over that. Um, so this is a Tradesman, but it does have <clears throat> the chrome bumper and the chrome grill. So that is some form of an upgrade. And then it's got tow hooks, so that's part of some tow package. I'm not completely sure what it's considered by Ram, but it's something. And then... Uh, got no running boards so I'll have to get some running boards on there it's got now this is something I didn't know but these new trucks they don't have leaf springs anymore they just have shocks in the rear which is gonna make it a lot easier to lift the truck but that's something I didn't realize that had been going on for a while I hadn't bought any trucks recently it does come with a chrome bumper it does have a stock receiver that was something I was worried about too it's got the reverse camera I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got a reverse camera. No bed liner. Bed liner's gonna have to get put in. Hookups for a gooseneck is probably gonna have to get put in. I'm not a fan of fender flares, but I've barely gone over any dirt and I can already see dirt on it. So, I might have to do something over here. It's got these new capless covers. I'm not really crazy about it put something on that and on the DEF or I'll just delete it because who needs that shit anyway yeah I don't even I don't even want to get in this truck because I don't want to get my I get all about to rain over here so I don't want to get shit all over the truck uh, actually the first thing I'm gonna go do is go buy some floor mats at AutoZone until I can get some better ones from somewhere else online any suggestions leave them in the comments below uh, and we just got oh, some basic paperwork it came with. It's got USB port, aux, or two USB ports, an auxiliary port, and that will be used for charging. They still come with these. That's crazy. 
they still come with these little change things. Dodge has had these, this style center console forever. And then, I'm not sure, is this lift? Oh, that doesn't feel like it lifts. All right, well, place for your phone or whatever. Three cup holders. A lot of these new trucks have a shitload of cup holders, although this one only has these three. But that's two more than what I need. Well, I guess it's one more. If the wife rides with me, we got a regular power outlet there. We got a USB port there. And this does actually have, it does come with the after, or not aftermarket, but, oh well, yeah, aftermarket hookups for aux switches. So, got LEDs and whatever else I want to put on there. So that's pretty cool. I'm not crazy about that on the fly shifting. I really wanted a manual transfer case. I guess I could have held out, looked a little bit longer, but I think it'll do just fine. Let's see. Let's head on over to this side. And uh, we got this micro glove box here. It's actually smaller than the glove box that was in my Scion. So I'm not saying a whole lot for glove boxes. I'm sure this can rip out and become something. Who knows? I like that these uh, A pillars do not have airbags. Not that I would do anything to the passenger one, but the driver. There's your gauge pillar right there, so that's pretty cool because I know a lot of things have airbags you gotta remove and that's a different hurdle altogether. But here we go with this damn floor mats. Just got this truck yesterday, it's already dirty. And then let's head on to the back seat. And like every Dodge, it's got these little ice cooler things, but I'll probably use it more for some type of storage. It's caught on that seat right now, so I can't lift it all the way up, but this comes out. Uh, it does not have the Alpine radio, or, yeah, I think it's Alpine, uh, that's in the Laramies and stuff. So that gives me more room for storage. Oh, son of a bitch, floor mats. God damn it. I didn't even notice that. I noticed there was a bag. I didn't even, I couldn't tell. I was at night when I got this. All right, cool. Well, I will put those out. Although that's not really the kind of floor mats I want, but they will work. And just a little bit of storage room down there. So yeah, when we'll, I get this done with this video, we're gonna slap these floor mats in there. And then you got another Another ice box down there. It does have the rear vents. Rear vents, very cool. Not that I have a lot of people riding in the back. Well, I didn't have a back seat before, so back seats are new to me. But uh, probably won't be using those, but it is cool to have. Uh, it's pretty basic though. There's no rear slider on the rear glass. Uh, you just have the one light, and that's it. Although, that can, this can always be modified, people. So we'll just see what we're gonna do. But, the main thing we got, oh, and this does have 18 inch wheels. So that is, I know the lower end Tradesman is 17 inch wheels, so it's got some other upgrade there. I'm not, I'll have to go through all the paperwork and see all the technical names for these added parts to this. But, the main part, Man. Which you can barely hear, which I hate. I'll show you why in a minute. And the main part, the grand finale. Just got the single 180 amp alternator. Still got this damn turbo silencer in here somewhere. We'll have to, I think it's somewhere here, I don't know, I'll have to look it up. It's gotta be where the turbo is, right? So it's gotta be somewhere over there. We'll get that thing removed as soon as possible because you really can't hear the turbo. But yes, so that is it. The Cummins Heavy Duty.
Okay, so that truck may be for work and everything else, but this is what we got for play. Now this truck has a long story behind it because it is actually, was actually bought to build up business credit. That was the kind of point of its entire purchase was to build business credit. It could have been bought outright, but we chose to do that because we had to establish credit. Anyway, long story. Um, right now, it has paid off, but they, the company that we're dealing with is trying to gig us on some paperwork that was supposedly not sent in that was supposed to be. And so we're having a little legal issue with getting the title on it, which is why it's just sitting here. As soon as we get that title, this is the new project. Now. It has been sitting here for a while because the tires have dry rotted. They were pretty going anyway, but I just want to show you something. So this truck basically just sits here and before it was sitting at our shop. Now when it was sitting at our shop, it was broken into. Since then, hasn't really been touched much. It's been, it was driven back here before the tires rotted. Almost never gets started. Uh, I don't want to abandon it, but it does seem like that's kind of what we're doing. Holy shit, I'm trying to get this key out. So. Alright. So. It never gets started. But. By the way, I hate this. This is a replacement. I had a Hurst shifter in this truck. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, they stole the radio because they are bastards. But check this out. I probably hadn't started this truck in, I don't know, a few months. Let's get it in neutral. Let's wait for the wait to start light to go off. Fires right up. All these gauges actually work. Actually, a lot of things in this truck work. A lot of this stuff is actually a lot newer than it may look. This dash has just been destroyed by getting broken into. So, <clears throat> this is something that I might be making a few video on, videos on in the future. I'm actually gonna let this warm up for a while since it hadn't been started in a while. Alright guys, well thanks for checking out the vid. If you like it, subscribe, leave some comments. Until next time, peace out.